Hey YouTube, I'm Curtis Doughty, and welcome to the Scope of Science. Now, a few years ago, Derek Muller from the YouTube channel Veritasium came out with two videos that proved to me that the general public has no idea about how one of the most fundamental laws of the universe works. It's called the conservation of mass. Those videos, and I'll put cards to them up in this corner, those videos were on how trees manage to grow and on how we respire and lose mass overnight. People's answers to how those things worked, how does a tree grow, where does the mass come from, people were saying, or, or where does your mass go at night if you weigh more before you go to bed than when you wake up in the morning. People kept saying things like, oh, the energy gets converted into mass, or it just happens, or it just, the matter expands. They were saying crazy things that are totally untrue. So I decided that I would do a very simple experiment that anyone can do at home that shows the conservation of mass. Very simply, I put some seeds in a jar and with some soil and some water and I closed the jar and I waited. And then I waited and I let the plants grow and I weighed it again. Actually, I'm gonna weigh it again for you right now. And we'll see, who knows, maybe the matter has changed, maybe it's become more massive. I expect it hasn't. Let's take a look. What's the mass of it now? 1,650.5. That's the exact same as when we started the experiment, so I'm really not surprised to see that. Now the conservation of mass basically just says the matter cannot be destroyed or created. It always sticks around in one form or another. So yeah, the plants did get bigger, they grew, but they used matter that was already in the jar. There was carbon dioxide gas in the jar and that carbon from that carbon dioxide got into the plant to produce its cells to create all of that plant matter that you see in this jar. It didn't just appear there, it's from the air. These plants ate the air to produce these stems and leaves. Even though they're kind of sickly looking. There wasn't enough carbon dioxide in this jar to make them healthy. But that's the idea. Matter cannot be destroyed or created. It just gets converted from one form or to another over time. 65 million years ago, a dinosaur could have eaten a leaf and had that carbon go into its body to become a part of that dinosaur. And 65 million years later, that atom of carbon could be in you. You could be the part of a dinosaur millions of years later. We talk about fossil fuels and how we're burning dinosaurs, but you are also possibly full of atoms from various points in history like the dinosaurs or maybe Albert Einstein. You could have had a H2O, a water molecule that Einstein drank in a glass of water could now be a part of your body. That's beautiful, the interconnectedness of nature at work. And it's evidenced by the conservation of mass. It doesn't get destroyed or created. It just keeps changing. Thanks for watching. Uh, if you like this video, please consider liking this video. If you didn't like it, you can do that and give me some feedback. I want to know what I could do to make this channel better. It's all just a big experiment for me and I love experiments. Again, thanks.